Kahalayu Yahweh Bashem Yahusha Bashem Rokakadash Rokata Yahweh Rokata Yahusha Rokata Yahweh Rokata Yahusha Rokata Yahweh Rokata Yahusha Kahalayim Yahweh Bashem Yahusha Bashem Rokakadash Double honors to the Apostle and Elders, great millstone who rule well and taught me his truth, and peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man, pushing his truth and faith and sincerity. Yahweh Bashem Yahusha Bashem Rokakadash Rokatam. So you sincere listeners who may hear this, all right. And I just want to go into a, a quick lesson on how we are to be, uh, as, as men of the Lord, you know, uh, as the hopeful elect, we are to be separate, you know, and conduct ourselves in a, in a certain type of manner, you know, and behave in a certain type of way, you know, even if that means being alone, all right, even if that means uh, being separate, even if that means that you have to live such a, 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 a so to speak, boring life or, you know, a so to speak, uh, you know, you're not you don't think how certain type of people think or you might have to, you know, kind of push yourself away from people, you know what I'm saying, or not indulge in certain type of things because um, as a man of the Lord, you know, you, you, you can't um, you can't do those things, you know. And and uh, it's a certain type of way that you have to uh, mind, mind yourself, okay. So this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 6. It says, let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua upon the children of disobedience, you know, upon the children of disobedience, man. All right. So you want to hang out with somebody else, man. They're telling you you can do this and that. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Which really ultimately is Satan trying to uh, sift you as wheat. Let's get that real quick. Let's get that. It's John 22 and 31. Kind of Luke 22 and 31. It's Luke chapter 22, verse 31. And the Lord, Yahweh Shim Yahushai, Salaki, and the Lord, Yahweh Shai, said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan have desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. All right, so the Lord, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, has uh, warned us about this, man. All right, warned us about this. Let's go into this word, sift. All right, you want to sift this as wheat, man, you know. Will sway us with vain words, you know, with deceit, you know, throw us off our game, get us to to go off, you know, get us to uh, fall out, fall fall out the faith, you know. Strong's G forty six seventeen, Seniazzo, Seniazzo. And it says, Salakia, it says to shake and deceive by inward agitation to try one's faith to the verge of overthrow so that's what it's about trying your faith into the point of overthrow man i see what see you get overthrown we're overthrown out the faith you know overthrown uh oh uh overthrown in, in righteous judgment in righteous in righteous order you know doing doing the wrong thing doing something you ain't got no business doing man you know going off you know transgressing against you how about she man was shot all right uh Going going back into being that old man, you know, uh not being a newborn creature in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know. So let's go back to Ephesians 5. This uh Ephesians 5, verse 6, it says, Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh wrath, cometh the wrath of Yahweh upon the children of disobedience. So this is the reason why the wrath but you how about you shot come uh, upon the children of disobedience, man? All right, because they've been deceived by vain words, man. Things that uh, don't apply to salvation, things that don't uh, apply to righteousness, things that don't pertain to uh, pleasing the heavenly Father, man. All right, transgression the law, statutes, and commandments. You how about you now shot? All right, not living in the righteous order that you're supposed to be living in, you know. It says, be not yea, therefore partakers with them. So we're not supposed to be partakers with these people of the world, man. All right, we're not supposed to uh uh be 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 uh doing for them, you know, doing for ungodly men. You know, and I'm speaking for myself, you know. We're not supposed to be doing for ungodly men. We're not supposed to be uh helping no ungodly person. You know, we're not supposed to be uh hanging with them, you know. We're not supposed to be chilling with them. All right. We're not supposed to even be conversing with, with them too much. It says uh, talk, talk not, not much with the fool, you know. And let me see if I can pull that real quick. It's in the book of Sirach. Bear with me. Sirach, let me see exactly where it said. It's Sirach, uh, I think it's 14. Let's 
Put some rock. Uh, bear with me, bro. This is lucky. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bubba Kasha. Bubba Kasha. Okay, I'm not gonna spend too much time in it, but I wanted to get I wanna get this for you brothers. No, uh Yeah, kind, kind, kind. The water, yeah, how about you, man? I should have a All right, let's go here. I wanted to get that for you, brothers. I'm going to go back. I'm going to jump back to that. We're just going to go here real quick. It's the spirit. Eight. And 17. Okay, this uh Sirach, chapter 8, verse 17. It says, Consult not with a fool, for he cannot keep counsel you know so don't don't be going supposed to consult with a uh a, a fool man who, who are fools all right these people of the world are foolish people man all right these people of the world will tell you that you can involve yourself in a and hang with um them you know and uh and you know chill with them you know uh and you know do things that they do or you know, even even to be around them or do something for them, man. You know, you that they, they can they, they can uh throw you off, man. Are you not supposed to consult with the fool? All right, for he for he cannot keep counsel. You know, so he can't uh, a foolish man can't keep counsel. He don't know how to keep the counsel of the heavenly Father, man. All right, so that's that's why you aren't supposed to be even involved with him. All right, and let's go in this same chapter. Put this out earlier this week. This uh, in verse eight it says, "Despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint thyself with their proverbs. For of them thou shalt learn instruction and how to serve great men with ease." You know, and, and that's and that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to uh, uh, be in the discourse of of the wise. Are right, we supposed to be uh, hearing the discourse of the wise, man? Are right, hanging with godly man? Let's see if I can get that. Godly man. Cause that's another thing I want to get for you brothers. Okay. So like you can do it like this. Some rock I know. So like you brothers. I'm just rolling in the spirit. This uh uh Sirach chapter twelve verse one it says when thou wilt do good know to who who thou doest it so shall thou be thanked for thy benefits right so you don't supposed to just do something for anybody man or right, give somebody wisdom knowledge and understanding or right, cast not what's holy before uh before swines man or right, even uh giving your presence to the presence of someone whose communion is in darkness you know that's that's uh that's you, you you don't even need to do that man all right be careful what you give your energy to we we, we have to be careful what we give our energy to you know and, and and who you know what 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 we're involved in who we you know who we uh consulting with you know what we doing you know or what we even consider doing you know it says do good to the godly man and thou shalt find a recompense and if not from him yet from the most high right so if you do good for the godly man you know, uh, you you'll get paid back for that, man. Or you ain't gonna get paid back for doing for uh, no no ungodly person. And even uh, commun communing and and and, and uh, putting your spirit in the in the uh, same presence as a uh, the spirit 
of a uh, of another man of the Lord, you know, you can find recompense by getting boost in your spirit or just uh, recompense by, you know, um, have, having more spiritual uh, understanding unveiled unto you. You know, it says there can no goods come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. And this point blank, blank, blank and pan, man, plain. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner, man. All right, so we supposed to give unto the godly man, which, which, uh, ultimately we supposed to give uh, our uh, everything, you know, to the to the godly man. All right, uh, I mean, just in communion with, with with our brethren, you know, with our brethren, pretty much what I'm trying to say. Okay, we don't supposed to. Uh, we don't supposed to uh, always. We don't, we don't supposed to be around, uh, or or giving to, or doing anything for ungodliness. Or being, there's not our place, you know. This uh, Sirach chapter thirty-seven to twelve. It says, "But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord." Yeah, by So we are supposed to continually be with godly men whom we know keep the commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. Right, if you don't know, if somebody not keeping the commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, you don't need to have no parts in them. Really, that's an enemy to you, all right? So, I mean, uh, Psalms 30, 139 and uh, 22, all right? Uh, Do not I hate them who hate thee, all right? And uh, Proverbs 8 and 35 tell you that all that hate me love death. You know, how do you prove, show that you hate Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by not uh in, involving yourself in the actions of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Now, you can't just be over. I ain't saying we gotta be over righteous. You know, in certain situations where you gotta be surrounded, but you gotta really just separate yourself from a lot of stuff, man. So, people's spirit don't rub off on you. Okay, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt mi miscarry. Yeah, because these people are occupying the evil, so they're not worrying about miscarrying. For, uh, of Yahweh Shem Yahushua. If anything, they are gonna tell you, man, you were all right. All right, it's 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 all good. You know, it's 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 okay. You know, or they gonna uh you know, and try to push something on you to 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 do something that you don't need to be doing. You know, ultimately it's just Satan throwing darts at you, man. You know, cause you you don't even want to be involved in this. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Satan uh, uh attempt you with something and throw some throw some your way. Okay. This uh back in Ephesians chapter five, verse uh verse eight. For ye were sometimes in darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Yahabashim Shah. Walk as children as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord, Yahabashim Shah, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them so we don't supposed to have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them man all right correct them man all right but it was it was some more i wanted to get but through the spirit and probably how about see me outside you know uh i'm just gonna grab this up you know i'm at uh the plantation so uh through the spirit and probably how about see me outside i pray this was edifying i want to give our praises to yahweh by shem yahweh shah by shem recall kadash that will honor to the apostle and elders a great millstone rule well. And peace and salutations to the house of David. Shalom to the elect.